So right now we're uh, at a special time in, in the year uh, where we want to celebrate the lives of mothers. And every day we, is a great opportunity to, uh, to, to give thanks for our mothers and for the huge role that they play in our lives. But today we want to give a special some time out and uh, we just want to let everybody know, first of all, that, that Jesus loves you. And it's a huge responsibility that Jesus gives to our mothers. And it's a, it's a gift that we are to them. And it's their, uh, it's their blessing for them to be able to nurture us, to raise us, to teach us, and to instill characters, characteristics and uh, different traits and values in our lives that, that we hopefully can carry on and, and write them close to our hearts so that we can remember them as we get older and, and eventually instill them in our own children. But today we want to, I want to share a special message in regards to uh, the restoration process. I know there's a lot of people out there, and maybe you might be one of them, where um, you know the relationship's not always that great. I know my relationship with my mother wasn't always that great. But it wasn't until I invited God into my life that that was able to be healed and restored. So this morning we just want to encourage, first of all, to let you know all your mothers out there know that we love you and we appreciate you in our lives. But most of all, to those of you that might be out there that are, um, that are dealing with the, the hardship of having to, to get back in touch with your mothers, or, or maybe you might have lost your mother, or, or you never knew your mother, we just want to let you know that, that God is a God of restoration. That with God, there, there's things, nothing is impossible for God. So when you're able to take the time and to allow God to come into your life, and, and you'll be able to, to give that to God, that he'll begin to restore and he'll begin to fill those gaps and he'll begin to, to show you what it is to have unconditional love. And, and in his own way for your life, he's going to bring peace to you for that situation and for whatever circumstance that took place. So we just want to let you know that, that God is able and God is more than willing to restore anything that is broken. So today we want to say we love you to all the mothers. We want to say God bless you. We want to thank you for everything that you do, especially the huge sacrifices that you have to make in order to love us, in order to teach us, and in order to guide us. We want to say a special prayer to you that God would continue to bless your life, that God would give you wisdom, that God would give you understanding, that God would give you patience and strengthen you in whatever areas in your life that need to be strengthened so that you can continue to play that huge role in our lives as a mother. So we want to tell you that we thank you, that we love you. And for those of you out there that, that are, have an empty gap or a void in your heart, we just want to let you know that God can fill it. And God will restore. God does comfort. And God has a love that is unconditional. So we will never be without as long as we have God in our lives. He can bring peace to, peace to any situation, to any circumstance, but it's not going to happen until we invite him into our lives and allow him to begin that process of healing. And when he does, there's nothing to describe the joy and the peace that we get to have. So we love you. We thank you. God bless you from the bottom of our hearts. Mothers, you more than anything there's no words to, to even describe how much of a role you play in our lives. So may God continue to bless you so that you can continue to bless us.